Welcome to City Bricks. This is my Lego City project. And on this update, we're gonna turn our attention to this forestry area over here. I'm gonna work on filling in those white table gaps as well as finishing up my mock by adding some interior as well as some lights. And then we're gonna be adding a bunch of plant detail and trails. So here's a good look at it before. Let's get started. And here we have a before of the cabin. I do think I'm gonna add some detail to the roof as well as maybe a tree in the back, as well as some interior detail and some lighting. So here's a before, I'll show you an after. Well, we've got a lot done with this cabin. I finished off the interior as well as the exterior, added some mini figures, did some detailing to the roof as well as added a tree in the back. It's kind of coming out of the cabin and then the best part is the lighting. Now I'm not 100% sure how I like the lights underneath the cabin, and if I do keep them, I'll probably add one more to this left side. But originally I had the lights on inside the cabin, but you could kind of see all the flaws with my roof design. However, I might add a wall right about here, put a light inside just so we get some light coming out that window. Let me know how you like the lights. I'm going to start working on filling in the table gaps. Now before I finish filling up that table gap, I wanted to show you where I placed the graffiti I got from last episode. Right over here above the tunnel, I've got Thug Life and I really like how this scene's turning out. And then over here, I put another piece of graffiti. I've mixed up that retaining wall, used some nougat color, and then I used those blue lightsabers as some water. I like how this left side's turning out and then it got kind of sloppy towards the right side but let me know how you like that as water. And then we got one more I need to place. I'm just waiting for the best spot, which I'm thinking might go somewhere on this side, maybe by that garage. So I can't fill in this gap in the table yet. I've run out of green plate. So an idea I had was I'm gonna be extending the river on this side of the cottage, that way it hits the water wheel. And then I'm also gonna be able to extract some green plate that way. So here's a quick before, let me show you an after. And here's the after. It actually wasn't too bad to organize and pull up some plate. I have to still tile off the water and then add a bunch of detail. But I've also changed the lights in this cabin for like a fourth time. I added some room lights. I took out the lights from underneath it and then I added a light so you could kind of see the tree. And then we also finished up that path. I put in the water or a little water well this way. And then we're gonna be adding some minifigures and a lot more greenery. Now, before I finish up adding detail in the forestry area, I think I'm gonna turn my attention to underneath here. I've already pulled out the side or the road and then started working on this side. Added some lights, another little hall, pathway, a little ramen shop. And I think I'm going to have to remove the Daily Bugle, the Sanctum Sanctorum, the police station, pick up this whole ledge, and then pull out that VIP section. That way I can finish tiling it off. I think want to add some more lights to the back left corner. And so that's, that's going to be a project. So we've had a small bit of destruction during the extraction. Just looking to clean that mock up a little bit. There's a bit of the aftermath. Had to do some under the table crawling and you know. So here's the before. Let me show you the after. And here we go. We did get it finished tiled off. I added a bit more minifigures, fixed up some of the lighting. We've got a few scenes going on back here. And then I've added a new storefront as well with some people hanging out in the front. Let's get this placed back into the city. And so I did get everything back and placed into the city. So let's take a closer look at the scene that we worked on today. The first thing I wanna do down here is remove that and tile that off. But then as you enter, we got a hobo over here, some billboards, a ramen shop. Then we have the storefront that we worked on today, a concert going on, a club. And I'm really liking how this area is turning out. I'm probably going to add a wall back there so we can't see some of the cords. 
And then right here where you see the white table, I'll probably put some masonry bricks. And it won't be an update video without a brick haul. So let's see what we've got. And that is what a thousand trans clear one by two plate looks like. That's gonna help me finish up the waterfall. And there we have it. I got some two by one brick, one by one brick. And then basically 999 almost fills up a full cup. And then we got some more pieces to finish off the cabin, some eggs, a few minifigure pieces, and then a few animals. I've extracted the waterfall. Let's see how many pieces it takes. And it did end up taking almost all my pieces. I could add a little bit more up to the top. In fact, I have a few more uh, clear slopes coming and so I'll be adding a few more of those to the top. But I do have it placed. Really like how this area is coming together. We've got the table filled in. There's enough room for another base plate there and a few more trails and bushes up here in the front. Let me know how you like it. And I think that's gonna do it for this week. I've got quite the mess to pick up as it usually goes when you got a few projects going on, but I'm gonna turn my focus probably next time to finishing up this table area, the water and the top of the mountain, and then probably lighting up the Hocus Pocus cottage as well. And then we'll think maybe about a, back, a backdrop. I still wanna do something like that. But then that area is probably done and I can focus more on the rest of the city. Let me know if you like it and if you enjoy the updates, make sure to subscribe and stick around for the one next week.